Right, here I am in uh, St. Mary's Cemetery. Bismarck, North Dakota. It's very historic. Uh, some of these people have been dead for, for over a hundred years. And um, I want to point out this gentleman here, Alexander McKenzie. Um, do you see how big this stone is? Was he overcompensating for something? I don't know. But um, there are many unique headstones here. Uh, the place has personality. Some of the stones are a softer granite or marble, so they're, they're kind of faded. This one's very old. Um, but, if you're a history buff, I have to introduce you to uh, a gentleman over here. It'll take a while. I mean, let's just stroll on and contemplate. There seems to have been a fashion. Uh, you see that one there? To sort of half hew the stone. You know, one half is carved and polished, and the other half is rough hewn. It, uh, there are quite a lot of big stones done in this style. I kind of like it. It's got personality, and you'll see a prime example over here. Right. If you're a fan of the uh, Battle of Little Bighorn, here's an unsung hero. Captain Grant Marsh. Note his stone is like half boulder and just carved off. He was uh, a pioneer captain and pilot on the Missouri River steamboats. In 1876, he piloted the steamer Far West, carrying the wounded from the Little Bighorn to Fort Lincoln in 54 hours. A feat unparalleled in steamboat history up to that time. So, uh, also buried here somewhere, I've seen her stone before, I can't locate it right now, Alinda Slaughter. She was like the first school teacher in Dakota Territory. She was a friend of Mrs. Custer and uh, did a few other things. But my favorite tombstone is over here. No, not that one. <laughs> Those of you who uh, peruse my deviant art gallery have seen this before. Small. Yeah. Tombstone the size of a Buick with the name Small. The supreme irony. And again, it's carved in that uh, half rough, half uh, elegant uh, fashion. Oh, this is like the family stone. The actual people are buried down here and they have little plaques. I'm walking on dead people right now. I, I hope they don't mind. I wouldn't. But then my skull's going to be in a library on a bookshelf. This is a nice one. A particularly nice one from the Hughes family. Ah, uh, there are some, there's some odd names here. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Uh, like, I mean, you could go from Norton, you know, that's a normal enough name, to Barfnecht. Barfnecht. Can you imagine being stuck with a moniker like that? Um, I don't know. Well, I can't throw stones. My last name is Kwasniewski. Gabriel. And those are the gates. Oh, oh no. No, it can't be. All you doll fans. I'm afraid, yes, yep, Barbie's gone. Hey. Now that one is quite remarkable. I better take a picture of this one. That's cool. Oh man. A voice for the unborn. I close off.
Yeah, there's here lies Barnabas Collins. Dun dun dun.